Hey, what's up guys? Rev here. So over the past few months, we've seen far too many examples of anime and manga being negatively altered as it's introduced into Western audiences. Whether it's through mistranslations or unnecessary censorship, Western distributors have well-documented histories of disrespecting source material, much like the topic of today's video. So yesterday, the official manga app for Square Enix made this announcement on Twitter stating, Square Enix is excited to announce our new mobile manga app. We have a lot more in store for you, so follow for more future updates. What titles are you most excited for? So let me just say, this announcement didn't just stumble out of the gate. The first step went right off a cliff because it got bad real fast. Shortly after this announcement, users of the app began reporting some pretty disturbing discoveries, most of which involve laughably hilarious censorship of manga hosted by this app, censorship the app would later claim was unavoidable. So to clarify, these are not my censors. These are real screenshots of their app. Like seriously, just, just take a second to really absorb what we're looking at here. There is not a single piece of nudity here. They are yeeting black bars on swimsuits, fully clothed bust, and cleavage. By adding in the sensors, they are making these panels look 10 times looter than they actually are. I mean, what the hell is this supposed to be? Did her beef curtains suddenly fall out of her jeans in the second shot? What is going on with these sensors? And as I was editing this video, I kept finding more and more including this. They are literally censoring kneecaps. I'm at a complete loss here. And trust me, there are dozens upon dozens of other examples, but this morning Square Enix made a public statement about the censorship concerns, claiming that all of these examples you just saw were unavoidable and even encouraged users to look to other platforms for uncensored versions of these manga. But the embarrassment didn't end there. Apparently this app has decided to establish itself as the world's first pay-to-win manga service, where individual chapters are paywalled, chapters are only available for a limited time, and where you can pay real money for XP that'll grant you more access to content. So needless to say, this campaign has been a disastrous experience for this app because users are not going to put up with ridiculous censorship of manga while it's also paywalled behind literal microtransactions. Sad to see, but hopefully, for their own pride, they fix this immediately. But that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.